Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is a very exciting day because we have got a Lich Joy Magical subscription. I'm so excited. Just to let you guys know that this video is in fact sponsored by Lit Joy and I have the pleasure to tell you if you didn't know already, that's right. They've got an online shop with loads of individual items. So check the description down below. Check out the Lit Joy shop for yourselves. But yes, today we we are going to be unboxing the LitJoy Magical subscription. I do believe this is the second to last ever magical subscription by them, but they're still making loads of really cool things. They have just launched something called the 2B Red box, like TBR, but 2B Red. I'm very excited about that, especially as someone that's got into books recently. But yes, go and check everything out that they're still doing. But yes, this is the second to last, but I'm very excited because look at this artwork, which we will talk more about in just a moment. This is a herbology class themed crate. <gasps> Could I be any more excited? No, no I could not. So if you wanna know what is inside this box, then keep on watching and hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because you guys know that I have no patience when it comes to the Lit Joy boxes. Oh, I'm very excited, and an herbology. It's like they have made this box for me and I don't even know what's inside yet, but I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good because it's herbology and plants and... Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, first things first, as per usual, let's take a look at this beautiful box artwork. I will link the artist in the description down below. He does amazing things. But yes, this is stunning. We've got Cornish Pixies on here. We've got something that looks like dirigible plums, but it might be something else. And when I lift this up, the artwork continues. We have got, oh my God, this is so cute. Look, there's Mimbia, there's Mimbletonia. There's like things that look like gnomes. There's mandrakes and plant pots. Oh, and this isn't where the artwork ends because you've got the sides. We've got Cornish Pixie being mischievous with some earmuffs. We've got mandrakes and a little trowel. Oh, this is, look at their little faces. Uh, we've got some herbology books. We've got the green witch. We've got encyclopedia magical herbs, the illustrated herb Herbary, herb, herb, like library, but herbary, herbary, I don't know. Watering can with a little Hufflepuff on it, like a badger, because Hufflepuff's like, oh, honestly, I, I just, I can't. And then on the base of it, there is a trowel. Okay, I'm ready. Let's open this on up and then have a cheeky sneak peek. Okay, so this is, <laughs> you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Right, this is the cheat sheet. So we are gonna put that to one side. Let's just start with what's on top, shall we? Oh my God, look how full this crate is. Okay, okay. Also, I do believe they've sent me some of their add-ons in here as well. Right, first things first. What is this? Oh, it's really cute. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lit Joy, you're trying to break me with the first item. <sighs> it's a little gardening like apron. Oh, <laughs> this is seriously perfect for when you're repotting things. So it says Herbology, Greenhouse 3. We've got some daisies, we've got thistles, we've got foxgloves and ferns, and I'm not sure what that is. It kind of looks like a stinging nettle, but oh. It's so cute and this is a pocket. So you could put like your trowel in there or seeds or whatever you're doing. Like, oh, look, I know plants ain't for everyone, but plants are my vibe. So this is a massive hit for me. And this is going straight into my little gardening cupboard downstairs. Well, my like, like house plant cupboard. This is the cutest thing to start this crate with, Lit Joy. <sighs> trying to ruin me okay i don't think i'm ready for every, anything else that's in here if that's the first item okay let's go with a mystery brown box you guys know that good things usually come in these i don't want to guess like my first thought was maybe a mug but i'm not sure but let's um also i love the lit joy mugs they're so beautiful but i don't think this is oh what what 
what is this okay let's get rid of the silica gel um oh i can't i need to sneeze oh no Excuse me. Okay, I have no clue. Is this a plant pot or something? I don't know. It's made out of wood by the look of it. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a plant pot and it's got a, it's made out of wood. It feels like mango wood or something though. It might look a little bit too light to be mango wood, but can you see that it's got a little, a mandrake etched into it? This crate's making me want to cry. Look at that little mandrake. Oh, it's so cute. Also, I don't own a wooden pot. Obviously you wouldn't plant directly into this. Just to let you guys know, if you do receive this crate, you would put your drainage pot inside this once it's fully drained, but that is utterly adorable. It feels like it's really thick. Like, look, that's, it's chunky. That's very nice. This is going straight towards my plant collection. I need to see if I have a tiny pot that will fit inside of this because, oh, it's just absolutely darling. Obsessed with this. Okay. My heart wants to explode with magic. Okay, let's continue. Okay, there's another box in here. Ooh. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is this? Can we talk about the design of this box? Greenhouse three, we've got cauldrons, got magical plants, and the lighting coming, oh, stunning. Oh, this is getting me excited. Okay, it says dishwasher safe, which has me quite excited. You know how I was saying, um, their mugs are my favorite. Uh, I collect these. They are truly the best size for tea or hot chocolate or coffee. Literally, you've excelled yourself. This might be my new favorite mug. It's absolutely beautiful. I remember the first one they did. They had like a Hufflepuff cup at the bottom. That is so cute. We've, oh my God. Yes, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a great box for me so far. All three items that we've currently looked at, I adore. Let's keep going whilst we're on a good streak, okay. I know what this is without even opening the bag, just by feeling it. This is a pair of earmuffs. I can feel the mechanism and it feels really soft. Right, let's take a look at the bag. Greenhouse three. Oh, and it's got magical collection on their little tag. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they're lovely. Gotta wear your ear protection when there's mandrakes around. These are so nice. Fun story, well, not so fun for me at the time. I ordered some earmuffs last year and I got them from Amazon and they were meant to be faux fur, but I received them and I was like, these are not faux fur. So I sent them back and I ended up earmuffless. And these are really nice. They're, they're kind of like a mocha brown. They feel so soft. They've even got fuzzy bits on the inside. I am someone that struggles with cold ears at the best of times. I recently went to a few beaches down in Cornwall and the wind in the evenings, it wasn't even cold, but the wind gave me like earaches. I wish that I had some of these then because this would have been perfect. I just think they're so cute oh okay item number four is still a smash and the little bag just makes it even better that i can put my little mandrake ear protection in a little greenhouse bag oh that's so cute yes this this is yeah okay next is something in a box okay it's a brown box and it's got this kind of magnetic catch here i haven't the fog I was about to say I haven't the foggiest what this could be, but I what? Wow. 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 And lit joy. This is beautiful. Oh, we've got, we've got asphodel. Oh my God. Right. We've got a little vial of asphodel. This is handpicked lit joy supplies. This is so cute. Look, look at that. Oh, the label, the, the actual dried flowers in such stunning. We've then got some mandrake root. I'll just show you that inside. Oh, stunning. Then we've got some highly toxic wolfsbane. 
and that does look like little blue flower. That's so sweet. Oh, the presentation on this, guys. And then last, we've got some mugwort in here, and that's what that looks like. All of these are real things inside the first three. Oh no, I think that is as well. That looked plastic for a moment, but I think that might actually be a part of some like pine tree or fern or something. That is stunning. Just to give you a closer look of the presentation, it's got like all this m real moss as well in there. I think what I'm going to do with this is take all the vials out and put them on my potion shelf, but I really love this moss. I'm definitely gonna incorporate that moss into that shelf somehow, cause that's just, Oh, I really want to do like an Instagram flat lay with those. Those are so beautiful. This might be one of the best boxes that I've enjoyed opening ever. And you guys know how much I've opened over the years, like how many crates by different brands and everything. This is hitting the magical spot for me. Okay, what else is in here? What are you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think it was a decorative pot, guys. I think it's a pestle and mortar to like crush your herbs, maybe? Because this is in here and it's made out of the same wood. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, we'll read about it on the cheat sheet, but that's so cool. Okay, I mean, this would still work as a decorative pot. The fact that they've made a pestle, that's a very practical, I mean, they, they would both be practical things, but I like that, okay. Okay, let's take a look at, oh, can we just talk about that gold shiny foiling? So this is the Litjoy Wand Shop, makers of fine wands since 2016. This packaging's beautiful, it's like a purple box, and let's lift up the lid and see what wand we are greeted with. <gasps> Ooh, first things first, we've got a beautiful soft touch card. Soft touch is the best. Wand properties, and it says chestnut wood, phoenix feather core, and it's 9.84 inches, and it's unyielding. And there's the little Litjoy wand shot. This feels so good. I love soft touch things. Right, let's take a look at this wand then. Ooh. Ooh, okay, let's take this out. Oh, now that's a sweet little thing, isn't it? That is really cute. It's like this red, dark red wood wand, but it's got almost like oak leaves. It's giving Hermione vibes almost with the way that these leaves go around, but it's really pretty. It's very autumnal and I like the handle feels nice. It doesn't feel too long either. That's a very nicely sized wand. Just to give you an idea of length against what I would call a full size wand, these are quite a lot shorter, but I think I like that. It feels a little bit more personal. I love the design of them. There's, the, uh, as an object, it's very nice to look at. It's nice to hold. I think the design's there. It's very nice. And now I'm wondering, did everybody get the same wand? I assume so because it's very herbology with all of the leaves and that kind of thing, but that's lovely. It's very, very nicely presented, as you would expect. I'm going to pop that safely back into the wand box, and let's continue. That was very nice. <gasps> okay, let's take a look at this, because it's notebook time, and their notebooks are just, oh. Beginner's Guide, Magical Herbs and Fungi. Oh, we've got some cheeky little Cornish pixies on here and some mushrooms. Big mushroom fan. Also love the foiling along the edges of these. Uh, it's lined, here's the back, some more mushrooms and fungi. And then inside, oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that foiling. Ooh, that's delicious. That is so nice. That's really pretty. And then obviously inside is just plain lined. Um, we also do have a little bookmark in here. And then on the back, it's got that yummy foiling as well. That's so nice. That's a beautiful book. And on the edge, it says beginner's guide to magical herbs and fungi along the spine. There's just, yeah, that's a nice notebook. 
Okay, so we've then got some keys and a little artwork which is related to one of their add-ons, I believe, but we'll talk about all the add-ons and everything shortly. Let's take a look at these keys because I've had no spoilers at all. So this is another key from the LitJoy Magical Key Collection. I'm assuming they're still designed by the lovely Amelia, but let's open this on a, oh, the black velvet. Very, very luxurious. Wow. Okay, this is the Magical Owl Emporium. Look at that shop sign. That's so pretty. It says Tawny, Screech, Barn, Brown and Snowy. Beautifully presented again on a hard enamel. I was about to say pin, but obviously it's um, a keyring. Let me just take this out because very carefully, because on the back they have this beautiful kind of etching of LitJoy Magical Key Collection. I mean, it, that's just... It's just on a whole different level of quality. They've always been very impressive when it comes to this key collection. We've also got a key loop. The other piece that goes onto here is, oh, how cute is this? It's a little owl cage, but it does actually open so you can let your little owl out. This is magnetized as well with the handle. And then we have Magical Owl Emporium tag on there. And then back, it just says Lit Joy. But let's take a look at the actual key itself because they are so beautiful. They're so well sculpted as well. I mean, look at that. It's gold, It's it's got an owl. There's the back of the owl. It's almost like it's on an owl perch. And then I quite enjoy the little key mechanism part as well. I mean, it's just a very good looking magical key. Like that looks like I need to go off to Diagonally and open the shop up. Very, very nice, beautiful to add to the LitJoy keys. But let's just pop this back because that's not the only key that we get to enjoy opening today. This is the second LitJoy magical key this time round. Let's open it on up. I don't think I'm ready. Okay. I mean, I'm wearing the right colour for this one. Rita Skeeter. Oh, it's fluffy. Okay, we've got the quick notes quill and it's, <laughs> that's perfect. It does have the fluff on it and then it has RS on the back for Rita Skeeter. So let's pop that back. That's thrilling. We also have a quick notes keep like keyring notepad and i do believe knowing litjoy there's going to be real paper in here that you can make notes on yes of course there is quick notes on lined paper that you can put on your keyring i mean i would never want to put this on my actual keyring so i wouldn't want to ruin it but the level to detail is it's it's brilliant it's really good okay then obviously we have the little key loop and then let's take a look at the key itself so this looks like it's a key to the daily profit it says delivered daily by owl and that's really nice i love the gold of these keys today really enjoying this part we'll turn that around oh this is meant to be like a newspaper scroll up here very very pretty we've got an owl on there and some parchment really nice maybe that's parchment i'm pretty sure that's meant to be like the daily profit though or inspired by very pretty key very very nice very well thought out as per usual beautiful beautiful now we do also have another item here and this might be a little bit of a clue this is a soft touch artwork of herbology class for the lit joy crate this time around and if i open up here this any guesses to what it is especially if you've been watching lip joy unboxings for a while you may be able to guess from that sound that's right we have got a new puzzle this is a jigsaw puzzle of the artwork from the crate and it has 300 pieces so that'll definitely keep you busy for a while it, it reminds me of pomona sprout um it's very very sweet indeed i just love everything about this theme like 
fills my heart with so much joy. Right, let's take a look at everything that we have opened today and then let's take a quick look at the cheat sheet. So this is our entire haul from the LitJoy Magical Subscription Herbology class with the add-ons. Let's take a little look at this cheat sheet then. So first things first, we got the branch wand. It says practice spells, witchcraft, and defending against the dark wizards with the branch wand. Specially crafted straight from the Litjoy wand shop with intricate leafy detailing that reminds us of the enchanted willow tree guarding the wizard school. The oh, it's meant to be like the one pin willow maybe? This branch wand is a perfect magical addition to your wizard school trunk. They say the wand chooses the wizard and that's why we included a wand specification card so you know exactly which one has chosen you. It's made with resin with a metal core and it measures 9.8 inches so 22.9 centimeters long. Very very lovely indeed. We'll talk about favorites at the end. Then we had the wooden mortar and pestle. We're screaming with excitement over this wooden mortar and pestle for herbology class. The adorable mandrake design reminds us of one of our favorite lessons with the quirky plant professor. Be sure to wear your mandrake protect earmuffs when you take this item out of its box. You might just hear a deadly shriek. Perfect for practicing witches and wizards who want to put their magical plant knowledge to the good use and prep ingredients for potions. Mortar measures 3.7 inches by 3.9 inches. It's made of bamboo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then we had this gorgeous plant specimen box and it says keep your precious plants and herbs safe in the plant specimen box with a wooden base and four glass jars this magical decor piece will fit right in with all of your items from wizard school each jar holds a hand-picked ingredient you might need for your latest potion including mandrake root mugwort wolfsbane and asphodel these are all visible inside the jar which comes with a cork and an adorably designed label get the highest marks in herbology class by displaying these magical plants and herbs on your bookshelf. These are absolutely going on my bookshelf. They're going on my potion shelf. Then we had the herbology greenhouse mug. It says wake up and smell the magical plants and fungi. This herbology greenhouse mug features a beautiful panoramic view of greenhouse three where herbology class takes place. See how many magical herbs, roots and flowers you can find in the stunning magical scene as you sip a warm drink. Whether you prefer tea, coffee or liquid luck potion to start your day off right this mug is perfect alongside breakfast in the great hall or a relaxing morning surrounded by magical plants and the artwork on this mug is by Alice Duke and it is dishwasher and microwavable safe can confirm I dishwash these all the time we then had the mandrake protective earmuffs and it says hurry to greenhouse three the last ones there have to wear the pink mandrake protective earmuffs don't worry there's still a chance for you in fact your new earmuffs might be earthy brown these these muffs come in two colours and you won't know which one until you open the fabric bag. Oh my goodness, let me know what other colours you guys got if you've got this box. <laughs> and it says no matter the colour, make sure you wear them when learning to repot your mandrakes because their cries can knock you out. And as a bonus, these super soft ear muffs are perfect for chilly weather because they will also keep your ears warm. I'm so excited to wear these in winter. They're probably the nicest ear muffs that I own. Then there was the beginner's guide to herb and fungi notebook calling all aspiring herbologists discover the magical world of herb and fungi with a beginner's guide to herb and fungi notebook featuring a stunning front and back cover design showcasing a variety of enchanting herb and fungi plants this notebook is perfect for recording your observations and findings as you explore the fascinating world of herbology ideal for wizards and witches of all levels this notebook is a must-have addition to any magical collection and the design of this one was by Deb's flowchart so that's really cool. It has 200 lined pages, which is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so the add-ons for this crate were the magical keys. So we have the magical journalist key, which is actually this one. The, I'm holding the wrong one. Um, get your favorite wizard newspaper delivered daily with your new magical journalist key. This magical key will come with two charms that will remind you of a certain witchy journalist who had no problem making up a fact or a quote to sensationalize her stories. The quill charm won't misquote you, but it does look fabulous with its acid green pom-pom. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> 
Feel free to use the notebook charm to take down some quick notes. It even has real paper inside. You're going to love it. And this was indeed designed by the lovely Amelia. This is the 23rd key in Litjoy's collections. Wow. Uh, then we have the Owl Emporium key. Come get your wizard school pet with your Owl Emporium and Menagerie key. This key will allow you entry into the shop filled with owls in many different colours and supplies to care for them. Your new key has an owl with its wings spread on the key head and comes with two charms. The cage charm has a cute little owl inside, a door that opens and a tiny tag with the shop's name. The sign charm says Magical Owl Emporium and mentioned the owls Tawny, Screech Barn, Brown and Snowy and this is also designed by Amelia and this is the 24th key in the collection so that's really cool. Honestly guys, this box blew me away and it was definitely one of my favourite Litjoy boxes and I cannot wait for the next one which is the Take Me Home crate. Uh, it's going to be so, so good. Uh, so subscriber renewals are set for July 1st and the add-ons week is set for July 4th. So go check that out, links are in the description down below. I can't choose a favourite item if I'm honest. I found this, it's really hard. I love, 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 love this little apron for doing homology. These tiny little ingredient vials with all the moss and the real things inside, 10 out of 10. This mug, a million out of 10, because it's my favourite mug. The pestle and mortar, the earmuffs, the wand. Honestly, guys, I'm just gonna mark this crate as my favourite because I really enjoyed it. I know that this theme may not give as much ooh, to everyone as it does to me, but I really, really like Herbology. It is one of my favourite themes, and this has just knocked it out of the park for me. But as per usual, it is not just about what I think. So leave a comment down below. Did you enjoy this theme? Did you enjoy all of the items? What was your favourite items? And don't forget to go and check out the Lit Joy shop. You never know, some of these items may end up on there if you are lucky. But yes, that is all for now. I'm going to go find homes for these because I'm keeping it all. <laughs> um, this mug you're coming down to my dishwasher and we're gonna live a very happy life together. Autumn's coming, many hot drinks are gonna be in this and my ears are gonna be so cozy. Oh. My face hurts from smiling. That's when you know it was a good crate. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a magical thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Fashion. I'm going to look so fashionable. Right.